It doesn't matter what it is. If it talks you out of shit that is actually a part of your purpose and a part of your heart, then it's not meant to be in your life. Period. I can never get it when I'm on the ground. You can never get it when you pull me down. Even when I fall, let's be open now. Something about the space that I honor now. Something about the race of the richest town. Something about this place falling down. I don't wanna glow up just to watch you drown. This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now. Hey, it's Zana. So, Life of an Entrepreneur series. This is where I take you behind the scenes of me building my brand and business and music. And for this video, I wanted to give 10 tips on how to actually live the life that you want like how to actually start it because believe me it took me years to even start i literally spent years wanting to start wishing i could start but then not actually doing anything about it so i want to make this video talking about 10 tips of how to actually live the life of your dreams and how to get past all of your fears and everything this is just things that I've learned along the way of how to actually get your mind to focus on the goal and the positive and where you want to be rather than falling into the self-doubt trap that is so easy to fall into. So I wrote 10 tips on my phone so I'm just going to read it from there otherwise I will forget literally. So yeah let's just jump straight into this. Tip number one is find your purpose and this is kind of a vague statement to make but I do have a whole video talking about purpose and what your purpose is and literally why we're here in in this fucking reality why we would incarnate onto hell prison planet called earth <laughs> so I will link that video down below if you want to check that out but the first tip is to actually find your purpose and I feel like this is the most important part I mean, it is the purpose of your journey. So yeah, it is the most important part of this life and of your journey. And it's key to actually tap into that, which means tapping into yourself. It means hearing your heart, which sounds kind of cliche, but like that is the part of you that I'm talking about. When we talk about the higher self, when I talk about like God or what God is, it's literally talking about your heart. It's talking about your soul. It's talking about who you are, like ignoring what everybody else has to say and what the societal norms are and actually hearing yourself and what feels good for you and like what lights a spark inside of you you know so like really clearing out your old beliefs clearing out all of the fears and your old belief systems and the programming that goes on which is why mind cleared series that I also do is very very important so you should definitely check out those videos because it really is about clearing all of the bullshit and get into the root of who you are, you know, get into the root of your being, get into your soul, exactly who you are. And when you do that, you'll easily know what your purpose is. You probably already know it. You're already like doing certain things that are a part of it. You just haven't realized that that's the thing that you need to do. Like, you haven't realized that that's actually leading you to your purpose or that it's a part of your purpose, you know, because your purpose is not necessarily like, I mean, it's nothing to do with money, so let's just get that out of there straight away. But I don't want to go too much into it because I have a whole video on it already. So you should just check that one out if you're looking to find your purpose, if you're stuck on that. But really, it's just about hearing yourself. That's what your purpose is. Once you hear yourself, you'll know exactly what your passion is. And that leads me on to point number two which is about your passion, finding what your passion is. And your passion will likely coincide with your purpose, you know, because they're all kind of intertwined. So for me, a passion is music, is making music, is singing, is writing, is creating these videos, you know, that's a passion of mine, but they intertwine with my purpose because my purpose is to help people. It's to like be myself and allow that to shine enough that it then impacts other people you know like that is my purpose and I do that through my passions of making music and writing lyrics that will empower people and creating these videos and talking about things that I've learned you know like you know what I mean I feel like I'm rambling already but so like basically you find your purpose by hearing yourself and noticing the things that you enjoy to do, which are your passions, you notice both of those things and it will lead you to your purpose, you know? So number three is research. Research your field. Whatever it is that you're passionate about, whatever it is that you love to do, research. And chances are you already do that. You don't even realize that you're doing it because like for me, I watch tons of interviews of other artists. Now that is research, but it's something that I enjoy because I want to know what these people have to say. 
because I admire their like struggle and their success and their path to success and their talent you know so it's research but it doesn't mean that it has to be like a boring weird negative thing you know like when you're passionate about something you want to learn about it you want to do it you want to know about it so it's really key to research your field of whatever it is that you want to do like look at what other people are doing find out the information that you need to know so if it's a business that you want to start like research how other people have done that like the different steps that you need to take the different things that you need to look at you know so like a clothing brand I started Zana collection but I didn't just jump straight into that, I had to research, like, where can I get the clothes from? How can I design them? What kind of designs do I want? You know, like, you need to know all of these things. So it's really key to actually do your research a little bit. And that takes time. So it's also trial and error. Don't let the research hold you back, you know? It's trial and error. So you're not going to know everything straight away. You need to start, but you need to have, like, a basic knowledge. And then you can start, and then you'll learn more as you go, and you'll adjust as you go. Okay, number four, create a plan. So I feel like, I mean, we already know it. It's not that I feel like, it's that I know imagination, visualization are powerful, powerful tools. Like, powerful. Your mind is the most powerful aspect of you in this reality. You know, like, it is powerful. So having that vision, being able to see it, being able to dream about it, like, literally meditate on it, put yourself there, as if it already exists, as if it's already real, feeling those emotions of what you would feel like, what it would feel like to actually live that life, you know, like literally putting yourself there and allow yourself to feel that will be so inspiring, so empowering, and it will literally tell the universe exactly what you want. And then like ideas and things will come to you because you're coming from that space of, of like inspiration and feeling yourself in that place you know as if it already exists so when you put yourself emotionally into that space like ideas and things just come to you you know I know for me if I visualize myself literally on stage I feel so excited that then ideas around how I can perform and different like ways for me to perform in different locations those kind of ideas come to me you know because I'm open to it because I've put myself in that space of knowing that that's a possibility, knowing that that's a reality for me, you know? So definitely have a vision, visualize it, make sure that you like focus on it a lot. Rep repetition, as I said in another video about reprogramming your mind, repetition is key and symbolism is key. So visualizing things really, really works and it will just keep that inspiration flowing. You know, like when you feel down and you start to doubt yourself, if you go back to that space and imagine like it's real, it will change your mind, like change... I don't know what I was trying to say then. It will change your mind and change your life. I was going to say mind and life at the same time, which I don't even know why. But they're both real. So it will change your mind and therefore it will change your life. So definitely visualisation. Have a vision. And then the steps will reveal to you as you go. Okay, number five is work backwards from that vision. And I heard somebody else say this. I think it might have been Gary Vee a few years ago. I heard him say like work backwards and I'd be like what does that even mean? Like, how can I work backward? I don't really understand how I can work backward because I'm nowhere near the end goal that I want to get to. So how could I work backwards, you know? But now I realise that it literally means like when you see the steps that you need to take, like if you go from the goal of where you do want to be, you see the steps of what leads to that because they're your dream. Like they're your dream steps of what you want to achieve. And then as you get backwards, just through visualization, you realize the steps that are possible right now. You realize the steps that are right in front of you right now because you can see them, you know? Like you realize like, oh, I could research that business idea. Like that's a step that's possible for you. I could watch a video about how to be disciplined because that's a possibility for you right now. That's something you could do right now. You know what I mean? So you work backwards realizing all of the steps that you really want to achieve that you know you can't really do right now because you don't have the resources and then you'll get to some steps that you actually can do right now and then you do those steps and just trust and know that the steps in the future like they'll become more possible and they'll light up for you when it's time so don't beat yourself up over the fact that you can't do those ones right now 
because that's not meant for you right now like that's just something that you focus on and you know that you're heading towards it but focus on what you can do right now work backwards and you will be moving very forward very forward you will be moving forward very easily not necessarily quickly but easily well not necessarily easily either, but you know the steps that you can do will move you forward anyway fucking hell I'm like rambling so much so, number seven is to remove anything that instills fear. And this one is not easy whatsoever. You should definitely watch my video that I just um, released the other day talking about reprogramming your mind. Because that is what this is. You know, removing the fear is reprogramming your mind. But it's removing all people, all environments, all TV shows, all of everything that instills fear everything that talks you out of your dreams, everything and everyone that tells you that you cannot do it, that you are not deserving of it, that you don't know how to do it, and all of this bullshit, like, removing those things. Because they don't benefit you. They just prevent you from believing in yourself. They prevent you from living in your purpose and in your path, and they do not serve you. It doesn't matter what it is. If it talks you out of shit that is actually a part of your purpose and a part of your heart, then it's not meant to be in your life. Period. Okay, but you have to know that what you're trying to do is something from your heart and not out of greed, not out of trying to get money, not out of trying to benefit from something for an ulterior motive or something that's not good intent, you know? You have to know that you're coming from your heart, which is why the first step is to find your purpose because that will help you get to actually like looking at your intent and why you want something, why it's calling to you, you know? So then you know that you're doing it for the right reasons and the right intent and to actually benefit yourself in the world and not just out of greed and like human ideas of what success should be and human ideas of what desire should be and all of this fuckery, you know? So you're removing everything that instills fear and everything that goes against your purpose, not your like greedy desire for money, you know, not the ego driven desire for money, but the actual purpose and heart based intent. That's what you're moving the fear from. So anyone that goes against that, anyone that goes against you pursuing your dreams because it's something that fulfills you needs to be removed from your life. Okay. And of course that is easier said than done, but I have made videos on leaving toxic relationships and things like that, and I will make future videos talking about like how to let go of people that don't serve you and all of that kind of thing. So they are coming very soon. So step eight is to create a vision board. And I know so many people will say this, but like I never understood the power of this. Like I really underestimated it until I created an altar that... I completely put symbols of like the chakras and the tree of life and all kinds of things that remind you of your power and of your true essence and the same is key for for your dreams you know that's what a vision board is it's really reprogramming your mind through symbols through constantly looking at these symbols and remembering what it is that you want remembering what it is that your purpose is you know, like it's empowering, it reminds you of why you're doing this, of what you came here for, and then the fear falls away because you remember the why, you remember your heart, you remember your intent, you remember the goal, like that's what a vision board is for, it's literally reprogramming your mind, so you should definitely, definitely create one, and I even um, create one and put it as my desktop on my computer, like I'll literally have symbols and images and then I'll also have written goals on there as well, just to fully remind you every time I go to my computer, those symbols are immediately there and I'm reminded exactly why I'm doing this, exactly what my purpose is, you know, exactly what I'm striving for, so it's really, really powerful and you should definitely do it and everyone is different so your vision board does not need to look like anyone else's it's just things that matter to you things that you want that's all you need to put on it you know in any kind of format you want so number nine is morning routine and my god i am learning this one right now routines in the morning are fucking key like they completely change your perspective, you know. Today I meditated, I did kundalini yoga to let my energy flow through, let my, um, like, I don't know why, I can literally feel it in my spine, like I can feel the, 
like restriction in my spine when I do it so I know it's working I know it's moving like doing these kind of things in the morning just to get your body moving to get your mind open to release any fears to release any like thoughts and negative emotions that you were feeling from the previous day is so so key and so powerful and you really need to do it okay I'm gonna just leave that there, like, you need to do it. Get a morning routine, and it doesn't need to look like anyone else's. You don't have to do kundalini yoga. You don't have to meditate, although I would, su I would suggest it and recommend it, but do things that will benefit you. When you tap into your heart and you hear your purpose, you will know exactly what will feel good to you. You know exactly what you need to lift your mood in the morning. You know, the more you get in tune with yourself, the easier it is to find tools and things that you can use to really help yourself so oftentimes when you're like unsure it's because you're not hearing yourself so that's why I recommend meditation and just being still and alone by yourself because you'll really start to feel exactly what you need because we're all different you know and our minds all work in different ways that's why we're here as different people so you need to do what works best for you but a key morning routine will really really benefit you of like moving your body it doesn't have to be weights and, and real workouts it could just be stretching you know really just moving your body getting grounded in your vessel and then also something that will help your mind to release you know let go of all of the shit that you don't want and be able to focus it where you do want it to go so a morning routine is so fucking powerful so key to start your day and when you do that then when you then go to like work towards your goals throughout the day or whatever it is my camera you will be in such a good mental state to be able to actually be productive you know that's why I say work smart not work hard because you need to get your mind in the right space before you will actually take the inspired action so morning routine is key and then finally number 10 is to actually register all of the things that you need so register your website you know register your company register the social media accounts that you need like literally create all of these things this is the first thing that I did when I was um, starting a brand like even my music when I started and I took the Zana handles on my social media like doing that I feel like really lifts you and like gets you excited for what you're about to do you know it literally puts into the universe okay this is my company name this is what I'm trying to do this is my goal like let me put it out there into the world even if you haven't figured out all the other steps you know so I really think that that is an important thing is to like just get those basic things of like the name you want to use or whatever it is that you're trying to do. Like maybe it's starting a course or like maybe you want to learn to be a personal trainer. You want to learn to be something like setting that foundation of looking up the course or creating the social media handles to be able to do it on Instagram or whatever it is. Finding that like first initial thing that you can do to really kick start it and to get you inspired and get you excited. I feel like that is a good step to take first. But yeah, so that is my 10 tips for how to live the life of your dreams. But of course, a lot of this really is about the internal work. Like the internal work comes first because your mind has to be in the right state to be able to do anything in the physical, you know? The mental realm is key. The mind is key, so... I hope this was helpful, but um, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do some videos showing you like behind the scenes of music as well. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and all my links to social media and everything will be in the description box below. But yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down. If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around. I need a